Right, so this is the road going into Schwietze, just crossed the Vistula a few moments ago. Unfortunately, I didn't get my camera out quickly enough. There's a really great pipe running down the side of the road here. And over there you've got the Schwietze paper mill and a glorious golden sunset. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. Uh, I better not sing that actually because this is one of the things which you can get problems with is if you um, decide you want to sing something these days. You know, you might want to sing a song and somebody come up and say, hey, they were my arrangements of the 12 notes that there are in the octave. Uh, not your arrangement, my arrangement, and it's on my balance sheet. So you better be careful what you sing sometimes, especially if it's actually even got words to it. So in order to kind of put some... Oh, look at all that mistletoe on those trees over there. That's quite remarkable, isn't it? See all that mistletoe in the trees. So um, it's almost a bit Christmassy, even though it's nice in spring weather. That's rolling pecs, which is seeds and things like that. Paper mills, yeah, paper mills up that way, I think I can smell it. It is a bit of, it's a stinky doodah, that's for sure. And there's a bit of interesting architecture down there, if you can see the church in amongst the trees. So, in order to, if you like, get round the problem of copyright, you've really got to think up your own music on the spur of the moment, because if you don't do that, then, you know, maybe somebody else will come along and say, that's my music. And uh, I haven't composed anything recently, so, you know, how, how, how to go around it. So, I've got to put my car down, because the police are over there, and then will spot me. Oh, look, there's, 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 I'll make some covert shots. This is how the police wait for in line for, for, um, for their victims. So, not really allowed to... to photographing them while I'm driving, but never mind, see how that gets on. And, oh, they're getting in their car and chasing me now. No, not quite. But it would be quite interesting, wouldn't it? That'd be a good piece of video. This is where the Bidgosh Road and the Gdansk Road, shortly after Schwitzer, uh, split off from one another. You can go to either um, Bidgosh or you can go to Gdansk. Or, you can keep on going and then you go through one of the cleanest forests in, left in Europe, called the Bory Tucholskia, and come to Tuchola. Um, there's the, there's the uh, sunset over there, and uh, yeah, I should really think of some music to, just to, off, the, off the cuff, something, you know, completely off the cuff that's sort of like nice and, you know, it's the first thing that enters into my head. I won't sing any any words, I'll just sing it on la, okay? Just em empty my head of what I need to have for driving, of course. And then uh, whatever comes into my head, whatever I see, or just sing on la, and just sing it along to the scenery and see what comes out. Just allow inspiration to enter. random notes just strung together as though it was a song and I, you know sometimes when I listen to classical music I wonder if that isn't all the, the person did just sort of sing along to his own thoughts just like I did just then if that isn't what some of these people have actually done and then 
just recorded it and written it down afterwards and people have said hey that's good and uh, written it down because sometimes when I listen to some kinds of classical music I really don't get much more from it than, than, that, than that really maybe there's something wrong with me I don't know but there we are anyway enough sunsets enough tree lined avenues with loads of look at the heaviness of all of these look at the heaviness of the mistletoe on the trees that's a poisonous parasite, but it is quite interesting when you see it. Just hanging there like a sort of decoration on the trees. And the sunset just gets pinker and pinker over there. Far farmhouses, but they'll be in silhouette. I can see them, but uh, see the camera doesn't make a good job of seeing them. And, uh, yeah. It's all quite nice. So... Maybe it'll make a nice film, I don't know. Nice tree-lined avenue I'm driving down. Just, just to sort of lift the camera up there and get a bit of sunset. That's a tad more of this. I just think I'd see if I can get, get that uh, plane flying away there, from probably from Gdansk Airport, uh, off into the distance. In, flying off into the sunset. And there's a bit more of that sunset and uh, an impression of the size of the fields around the forest fringe sort of, I don't know, it's difficult to know what to what to film and what's going to come out nicely but uh, there we are, Hoynitz are 51 kilometres away soon we'll be getting into this, uh, the, a place called Byslaw uh, which is uh, in Polish Bysław but it, when you see it written down it looks like Byslaw and I always thought it was like a kind of um, place where they might have made coleslaw or invented coleslaw and for once found that it was good enough to actually make it twice. You know, coleslaw, coleslaw, so good they made it twice and called it bislaw. You know, coleslaw, coleslaw, the cabbage and the vice, I love it. It, you know, could happen. It's nice and it's dark now, sort of dark passageway trees on either side. It's a sort of road where you might find a wild boar come jumping out at you from the side. Or maybe a stag. I don't know what you say for stags in America. Probably say stags as well. What was what was Bambi when he grew up? A stag? Just clearing out again now into a lovely open colour and an open plain. Right, well this is actually Bislaw now, uh, or Biswav, so you can have a look at the um, the appearance of that as a place. Um, so far whenever I've filmed anywhere in, in Poland, I've had somebody say, hey that's my town. Um, I wonder if it will happen this time as well. If you come from um, Biswav or anywhere near Biswav, then um, don't forget to uh, say, say hi in the comments section. Um, I was only joking that other time when I told the guy that I was going to be coming down for a cup of tea if he lived in that place because I was going to be travelling through it a, a week later. I won't bother you really. Um, so you can write without fear in the comments section if you come, if you happen to come from this rather lovely place. Now please notice the architecture that the, the um, I think this is rather a nice shot. I don't know if it's going to show up but what we actually have here is you've got the the church steeple, rather a steep one, and then behind it you've just got like two aeroplanes, well I have to see whether it really showed up or not, but uh, two aeroplane tracks in the sunset crossing over each other just next to it. Oh it's actually quite away from it now, but there, there, there you can maybe see both aspects of it there. There you can see the nice sharp uh, spire, and maybe over there and the next little lot of... Maybe I should be doing it more like that. So I can get into the shot a bit more. With a zoom up. Unfortunately with this camera I can't actually fancy things like zooming and what have you while I'm actually filming. I have to stop filming, then zoom to what I want and then start again. It's very bright isn't it? It's really lovely. Uh, how about that one? That's a sunset for you.